In this video, we're going to look at how we can create mail links and why we may want to create mail links in Spark. We can do this on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. So why would you want to create a link to an email? Well, basically when you create a link, what you can do is you can paste that link into another app. So let's say you wanted to create a note for someone. And then what you want to do is link to that email in the Notes app. What you would do is you would create a link to that email, put it into that note, and then the next time you pull up that note, all you have to do is just click on that link and it'll open up that original email. So that's why you may want to create links. Let's see how we do this. We're first going to look at this on my Mac. So I'm in Spark here and I'm just going to go to this first email here. Let's say I wanted to put this into a note, into my notes app. So what I need to do is I need to create a link to this. How do we do that? Well, all we have to do is just select it. And then we go to the three dots up here. And under the three dots, you're going to see create link. That's basically all I have to do. I just select this. And what it did is it created a link. Now what I need to do is just paste that link into whatever app I'm using. I'm going to go to my Notes app. So I just select Notes here. I'm going to create a new note. And this is for Spark email. And all I have to do now is just paste. I use Command V or I can go up to Edit in the menu bar. And we go to Paste. And we have my link. So if I were to quit out of Spark, let's go ahead and quit out of Spark here. And now I want to open up that email. So I go to this link here. I click on it and watch what happens. It opens up in a browser. So it's opening up in Safari. I can read that email. And then if I want to open it up in Spark, I can go over to Spark here and then it'll open up Spark. Let's see how we do this on the iPad. So I'm in Spark here, and basically, let's say I wanted to save this email here. All I have to do is just go to the lower right-hand corner where we have our three dots. I click on it, and then you're going to see Create Link. So I just click on this. It copied it to the clipboard. I can open up my Notes app. We'll create a new note. I type in here Spark, and now all I have to do is just paste. There's that link, and if I were to click on that link, it'll open up in Spark. The iPhone works very similar to the iPad. Let's go over to my iPhone. I want to create a link. I open up the email. We go down to the three dots in the lower right-hand corner, and then we go and create a link. It copies that link, and now I can open up my Notes app, and then I create a new note. We'll call this one Spark. And I paste, and there's that link. So now I can open up this note at a later date to open up that email. So that's how you create links, and why you may want to create links in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. With these links, what we're able to do is basically store an email in another application, such as the Notes app. And then anytime we open up that other application, we can pull up that specific email. So that's how we create links as well as why you may want to create links for emails in Spark on the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. 